Let's take a look at how to take this snowflake and add it to all these other snowflakes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select this snowflake and I'm gonna call this snowflake underscore master. Okay, and then with that snowflake selected, I'm going to shift select all these particles out here. And now I'm gonna to go to end particles and then I'm going to go to instancer. When I do that, I can see that all of the particles now turn into that particle or that instance of whatever I have there. So now if I rewind and hit play, I can see that it looks like that snowflake is now falling like that. Uh, notice that our master one is not falling. So maybe it might make sense for us to hide the master underneath the ground. Okay, and so we can go we can go find it if we need it to edit it, but we won't see it in our scene. Okay, um, the other thing that I can do with this, the master one, if I scale it, you can see that it, it's going to change all of the particles. Okay, so pretty cool. Maybe I'll leave it kind of small. And that's kind of obviously a stylized look, but I feel like that looks pretty cool, so I'm going to leave it like that. Um, one thing that I noticed is that when I play this, it feels more like it's raining out than snowing. I feel like the snow would fall significantly slower. So to change that, I'm gonna go into what's called the nucleus. And the nucleus, if I click on that, I can see here's the nucleus attributes. Think of the nucleus as the world parameters that everything is kind of like working with. So in other words, I could control the wind and I could control the gravity and things like that. So one thing here, air density, okay? If I put this up to let's say 10, you can see it significantly slows down the snow. And I like that. I feel like that feels more like snow. Uh, the other thing here is the wind speed. I can do this and you can see I can make it really windy out. Okay, but I, I don't want it super windy. Maybe just like a little angle like that I think is nice. Okay, cool. And if he had like a scarf or something uh, that was cloth, that would also be blowing using the same wind. I would just have to change it here and it would affect everything dynamic in the scene. Okay, so very cool. I'm going to stop, rewind, hit play. Okay, awesome. All right, awesome, looks really, really good here. I think I'm just gonna clean up the outliner a little bit. So if I click on that plane, I can see that, oh, that looks like my, um, I'll call this snow underscore sky. I could call the particles, I'm gonna call this snow underscore particles. Okay, nucleus, I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, this is the snowflake, and um, the instancer was just created once we uh, instanced that. Okay, and you can see what's happening like with the wind. So I got to be kind of careful that I don't have too much wind here. So maybe I'm going to go back to the nucleus and put my wind speed at like 2 maybe. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so just kind of a gentle snowfall that looks good. All right, um, and then maybe I grab all of this stuff, all of that, and group it, control G, and I'm gonna call this snow. Now if I rewind, hit play. Yes, loving it. This scene is looking really cool. Okay, in the next scene, I wanna talk about starting to light the scene and, and introduce some lighting.